Okay, a quick overview on the Oka Creek bypass that really is, is kind of almost finished. It's going to need just some final touches, and that'll be after we write it and we hear some feedback and or other people get involved and, and do some, some work on it. So here we're still, I'm on Oka Run, coming from the pond intersection, and as you come up here, you'll see normally we would turn to the right to head towards Middle Earth or to the uh, creek. Well, now I've moved the Middle Earth sign right up here and blocked off the Oka Creek uh, section. So just extended it maybe 50 feet. And now instead of going to the right, we're going to go to the left. And you can see where I've cleared these trees today. These were kind of blocking it. <clears throat> and over a pipe here, there's pipe everywhere out in this area. <clears throat> Some of this has not been dug. This right here hasn't, but we'll get to it. It's rideable now. Now here's where we started digging. This little downhill here. <clears throat> Last Saturday, Carla came out and helped me, and her and I did our skim dig just skim coated or you know just dug the top coat off of this and dug the roots out which is what we wanted to do to make sure it didn't overgrow so fast in the spring so now we kind of really have a defined trail this section coming up is what I did the first time I came out here because it was the most bench cutting so you've seen this before on a previous video this is where I said, please excuse the shake in the camera, and it's going to be the same thing. I'm hand-holding this GoPro. I don't have it on a gimbal. And right here is where I quit last time, and now is where Carla and I got really involved. And I'm already seeing bike tracks on here, <coughs> which is good. We need to ride this thing. But you can see how everything is cleared now. You've got a nice trail. <coughs> Might be a few overhanging uh, trees that'll need to be trimmed, but since most of you guys carry your pruners with you, I'm sure if they get in your way, you're going to prune them for me. I really do appreciate it. And this is just kind of a flat, wandering around, winding around the trees, but it's nice and clear. It'll narrow up as we pick out the route we actually want to ride. And here we are coming to the first creek crossing, which I did a lot of work on today. So this is as far as Carla and I <clears throat> went. And now this is what I we did a lot of this work today, where some of it won't last long, and we'll have to be working on these sections on a regular basis. But you can see it's a tiny creek here, and little things like I've got a log here you can walk across. You can walk on the dirt. Here's a notch here that will allow you to walk on this tree if it ever gets real muddy in here and step down. So that would get a lot. Right now, it's not muddy, so I'll walk along the side of it. <clears throat> and here's a step to get over it. Carrying a bike, you might be handy to have that. Step down. Little creek crossing. It's got some debris put in it. <laughs> We do have a couple of rocks, one here that I'm on, the next one. Here's where I dug today, and this is the stuff, it's not going to last. This is going to need a lot of maintenance and redos, but right now it's pretty easy to just walk across there. Now this part has not been completely dug, but I did go through and get most of the obvious little small trees and roots out of it. But it could sure use a nice <coughs> skim hoeing on there. You'll see there's a little bit more debris in here. A little, few little of these limbs I'm leaving. Someone wants to get rid of them, they can. I think that <coughs> a little bit of stuff's like salt and pepper on the trail. I enjoy it. Not everyone does. <coughs> And we're going right along the, the one creek. I don't know if you can see from here, but like in that creek, 
there's rocks all over there. And if anyone wants to grab a couple of those rocks while you're out here on your ride and put them and help the crossing, man, that would be great. I hauled in as much as I'm going to do, and someone else can kind of finish off those creek crossings. <laughs> And here we go into a couple of log crossings that I went ahead and cut out since I had the chainsaw out here and they're too close to leave both of them in. Now I did up here leave this one in because <clears throat> again I think it's perfect little size for a blue trail, easy to get over. And we're walking along. Again, most of this is all ready to ride. It just could have used a little bit more maintenance to it. Now here is the original, next to the original Oka Creek crossing. Before you normally get to it, I've built a new trail going down, which again, this will be, this is nature, mother nature is gonna be hard on these trails. So they're gonna need a lot of maintenance. And, but right now, hey, I think I could ride down this. And while I was out here working, this tree accidentally fell down, but it kind of made a nice bridge right there. So I figured, well, that's good. There's the old crossing with that big rock, which was too hard to move and a little bit hard to get to. But this next one where this tree fell, got steps in here, which again, who knows how long they'll last. Okay, here we are, a little closer look at the, the crossing that was there before, but that it's pretty hard to get down, especially carrying your bike. But this would be a lot easier. You can just walk right on down here. If you want to use this rock that I moved over, and you got a handhold right here, and step up. And with your bike, I believe you can. Here's why I tied it back in to the Oka Run Trail. And it goes on all the way to Artesian Well Road. Okay, and over there is the old crossing. And it's got a spring up in that cliff, and that is just keeps washing away. And right now, if you try to step in any of that, you would go all the way up to your knees, maybe more, I don't know. I wouldn't want to push it. And there's another rock that I started to bring, but it was a little too heavy for me to carry over there. So anyway, you young guys want to haul that over, it'd be great. But you can see this is a mess. We're not even going to try to keep this going. For too many years we've worked on it. Nature has beat us on that one. And this one, like I say, it's going to be a battle to keep it going right now. It's better than what we had. And it is doable. You can see across there. And here I am. I'm going across without even using my hands. So there's there, there. So I could easily hold my bike and then step up here. And I'm walking back now. So all of this, I'm walking right across this cliff that used to be pretty tough to get across. And I'm heading back. And I'll keep this thing running. I may not show it, but <clears throat> again, if you look down there, there are rocks all over inside of the, on this creek. So they're handy here. <clears throat> Just getting them to where we want them to make the, the crossings hold up more. Even when there's more water, that's why we're going to need some bigger rocks.